What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are using a very versatile team that features a Trick Room squad, a Rain squad, and on top of that, a Drought squad. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the Genius community. Seriously, all the likes, all the subscriptions, and all the views on the channel really helps me grow as a content creator. So I want to give a huge shout out to everybody who is supporting me. But uh, let's get started here in that top left corner with today's team preview, starting off with Tornados over here, who is great for speed control and does some work in the rain we got prankster alongside with the focus dash as item rocking hurricane which is a great stab move that hits 100 percent of the time in the rain we got tailwind for speed control we got dark pulse for our lonesome coverage move and protect for our fourth and final move second pokemon is going to be kyogre top tier restricted mon in this format as of right now we got drizzle and the sea incense to make our water damage do a little bit more we got water spout origin pulse ice beam and protect nothing too new on this lovely kyogre over here Middle left is going to be our Drought Squad. It is going to be Venusaur with the Chlorophyll alongside with that Koba Berry so we can eat up an Air Shot. We got Frenzy Plant, Sludge Bomb, Weather Ball, Sleep Powder. Everything's pretty normal with this Venusaur. But uh, one thing that I would love to switch is sometimes I like Weather Ball, but sometimes I don't. So I usually what I like to run on my Venusaur would be Sleep Powder, a maybe like Earth Powder, or I don't even know. Would it be Earth Power? What do I like to run on this? Mm, I definitely like to have Protect on it. Definitely like Sleep Powder, Grass Move, and Earth Power. Usually my call for that. Sludge Bomb is nice though because you can get that special attack boost with the Dynamax. But uh, we'll see how this one works for us. Right next to him is going to be our Trick Room Pokemon. It is going to be Porygon 2 with Trace, Evo Light, Trick Room, Eerie, Impulse, Ice Beam, and Recover. Great move set for Porygon 2. And we got bottom left hand corner, Torkoal over here who can set the drought and work wonders in Trick Room. Because you guys know if you can get this Pokemon in Trick Room, it can legit just erupt, erupt, erupt. Win you the game just like that we got drought we got the charcoal as item and ability heat wave eruption you want to protect for its move set final pokemon on the squad is no, no one else than zassian over here top tier restricted mod with interpret sword and rusted sword and then it's got iron head sacred sword substitute and protect so it's rocking the substitute move set it's going to work out really well but yeah like i said rain squad with the tornadus and kyogre we got the drought squad with venusaur and torkoal and then we got trickum squad with porygon and torkoal come on man triple triple threat squad you gotta love it but guys if you want to rent this team for yourself rent the code is at the bottom of the screen but let's get after it let's hop on that ranked double ladder look to get some wins with this drought rain and tripping team let's get after it ladies and gentlemen hopping into our first battle and we're going up against a drought squad he's got charizard he's got Groudon, he got sableye who probably has sunny day on it and then he's got incineroar chlorophyll venusaur and lunala for his final restricted mod how should we play this one how should we go into it do we match his weather squad i'm probably not even gonna break torkoal I think I'm just gonna bring Venusaur alone and maybe like a Tailwind Pokemon and then have Kai Ogre in the back end. Just to like take weather later in the match with Zacian. That's kind of feeling good for me. That is definitely feeling good for me. So I'm gonna lock in those Pokemon. I'm gonna lock it down. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is looking good for me because I'm gonna allow him to set the drought. Let him do his thing. We have a bunch of special attackers on the field. So if he leads Intimidate, we're fine with that. We're totally fine with that. We can just soak in that uh, minus one attack. Not even worry about it and go from there. And go from there but guys let me know for question of the day down in the comment section down below i don't think i ever asked this question what generation of pokemon do you guys think are the worst i feel like all of them have their ups and downs well not all of them have their ups and downs most of them have their ups some of them have their downs <laughs> let me know your guys answers in the comment section down below because i do not have a straight up answer and i'd love to know your guys answer but uh, he's gonna end up leading the sableye alongside with the venusaur and i'm kind of cool with that i am kind of cool with that i could pop a tailwind i could go into a sludge bomb sludge bomb's looking pretty solid here I mean, if he wants to set the, I don't think he's gonna set the drought. I really do not think he's gonna set the drought. I'm gonna set a tailwind here and roll from there. I'm gonna take full bowling speed control. I would love to pop a hurricane, but my problem here would be like uh, my problem here with the hurricane would be uh, it's gonna miss in the drought, which is exactly okay. So he sets a drought, but it's, it's only a 50% chance of drought. We're gonna be able to drop a sludge bomb here. He might be going for a sleep powder. Hope we can get a poison off on this. Chip up some nice damage. Give me a poison. No poison, he's going to sleep out of me. That's, oh, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So he puts me to sleep. I don't, I don't mind that too much. I don't mind that too much. And I'll save my Dynamax for probably like Kyogre or something in the back end. But we can just straight up Weather Ball here. We have Speed Control that will take him out. And we, I guess we can just start pulsing in the slot. I'm cool with this turn. I mean, is he going to Dynamax? Probably not. We have full Speed Control on him. And this Weather Ball turns into fire with the Drought going on. That's not a bad move for us. It is not a bad turn for us. Let's see what this hunk of junk does. But yeah, he puts my dang Tornadus to sleep, which I mean isn't too bad. He's gonna end up quashing me. Okay, smart play here. And is he going with Weather Ball? Please tell me he's not rocking Weather Ball. That's a solid quash there. It's a solid little quash. 
Let's see what it rolls out into. He's going to roll out into Weather Ball, so he has it as well. Can you eat that Venusaur? Hopefully, maybe, probably, probably not. Maybe, hopefully. You do. I love you. I love you, Venusaur. So that's a huge turn for us. Weather Ball is going to poke through on our side. We get to take out him. No problem whatsoever. Because we already did some damage on him. And then we potentially get to pose a nice little threat onto the next Pokemon. So he's going to either have to quash me or I'm going to throw it to sleep. I play all day. I play all day. I could hard swap the Venusaur. I could, but right now it has speed. Right now it has speed and we can kind of waste out these uh, these turns right here. And now it throws out Groudon. Once Venusaur goes down here, obviously I'm going to... uh. Pop into my ground on. I'm just gonna go here. Uh, I guess I'll go into a dark pulse here. Try to chip up some damage onto you, and we'll get rolling out. And we shall get rolling out. But I wonder what he's gonna do with ground on. We might have to Dynamax this Pokemon. I'm gonna have to Dynamax my Venusaur. Venusaur is gonna have to be my Dynamax. Or not Venusaur. Uh, Kyrie is gonna have to be my Dynamax Pokemon. So once I pull him out on the field, unless I see that I have like a full blown advantage where I can drop a water spout, then I'm gonna Dynamax and roll off from there. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Because if I had to guess, he might have the Charizard in the back end or Lunala chilling back there. Lunala's a little tough. Lunala's a, Lunala's a tough customer. So as long as he's not quashing me, I should be thriving here. He's gonna quash me. I think he's gonna quash me. He's gonna ally switch. That's not a bad ally. Or that's not a bad turn for us because we're just gonna sleep powder. See, go for sleep powder, and of course he avoids it. That's rough. That's real rough. I don't like that one bit. What's he gonna go for here? He's gonna end up going for Max Quake. He's gonna take my bench. That's rough. Man. Get out my face with that. Get out my face with that. Miss my sleep powder. Come on, yo. Come on, man. Come on, man. Okay. The so special defense is gonna get boosted. Ah, oh, that's okay. I could bring out I could bring out Zassi. But then he just quashes me and rolls from there. At this point, I'm just gonna bring out you. You and Dynamax him. Hurricane into the Sableye. I might double down in the Sableye. I think it could be weakness policy. I'm kinda scared of that. I really do not want to proc policy. But come on, Max guys are gonna do some big old damage. A Max guys are gonna do some big old damage. So we full, we have full blown speed. I'm gonna Dynamax. I'm gonna go for this, and I think I'm just gonna pump it into this slot. I guess a Hurricane. I think we're gonna double down the slot. If he, if he Alice switches, he Alice switches. He might be Focus Ash, so I'm just gonna double down into the Groudon slot. That's my play. If he Alice switches, he Alice switches. That's no big deal. He could quash me. He is plus one on special defense, but still, I can see us doing big amount of damage. But not killing it. But not killing it. But dude, that's so rough. Sableye should be asleep. Sableye should be asleep. He should be thriving. This because if Sable is asleep here, we don't have to worry about the ally switch. We don't have to worry about the quash. Because if I was him, I would quash here and drop a Max Quake into Kyogre just to get that special defense boost and help us soak up. Let's see what he does. Is he going to quash? He's gonna, oh, he's going to straight up Sunny Day it. Just straight up Sunny Day. So that's a smart turn for him. That's a smart turn. Hurricane might miss now. No, please, Hurricane. Land. I'm so, I'm so asleep. That's, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. We're going to change the weather back. We're going to change the weather back. So we change the weather back out here. I might have to change it to Ice. Ice might be our best bet. But we change it back to this. That was smart by him to neglect a lot of damage. And Ice might have to be our play next turn. Lovely little Ice might have to be our play. It'll be sunny days and he's going to go into a max quick. So smart play by him. He's going to uh, suck up some damage. And get that special defense boost. Okay. Okay, I see you. I'm still asleep here. Which is rough. We might just sunny day again. Might have to Tailwind because Tailwind might end. Yeah, Tailwind's gone. So we 100% wake up here. I'm just going to Hailstorm here. Hailstorm will probably do the most amount of damage for us. I'm just gonna tell him take speed control again. Take a lovely little speed control, but not a bad first battle. A sunny day really do me dirty. If he wants to switch it with sunny day again, that's totally fine because we're not going for a geyser anymore. I actually kind of want him to set the sunny day just to waste his turn with Sableye. Mm. This dang Sableye. This dang Sableye do me dirty. He's gonna ally switch. You son of a biscuit. He ally switched. Wow, we could have just absolutely ripped into him. We could have ripped into him. I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna take a bit more speed control here with Tailwind, and we're gonna go from there. But dang, I don't think Kyogre can take out uh, Sableye here. Kyogre's not going to be able to take out Sableye. So we went for the Hailstorm. He's probably going for another Quake here. And we're slowly chipping up some damage. God dang. I think this battle's going to be close. It's going to be a lot closer than I think, I think it is. All right, because we're going to have one more turn Dynamax after this Quake. Quake comes out. We get the block, or we get to eat that up. And we're going to go from there. Okay. So he could quash me, which is kind of scary. It's just a little bit scary. He could quash you. I can look for a flinch on the Kyrie right now. I think we're just going to double down in the slot. Dude, that special defense boost. Ripping. It is ripping for him. It is ripping for him. Wow. I don't think how we should play this one. I really want to set the rain. And I really want to go for a hurricane, too. I think we're going to have to hope hurricanes are going to hit. But we're not going to do that much damage, right? Might want to just straight up go after you. I'm going to go after a Sableye. I think if we can take out the Sableye, we can be in a bit better position. I'm gonna double down into the slot. And if he ally switches, he ally switches. 
He just got me on the ropes here. Alice switching, doing all this different stuff. Let's see what he does here. He's just going to pop a straight sunny day. Wow. Sunny day coming out here. So watch what my hurricane's going to miss now. But it stinks because that Sable I should have been s asleep like 10 years ago. <laughs> hurricane's going to come out here. Like I said, we're going to miss that one all day. Guys are going to come out here. He's going to be able to soak up. It's rough. That's rough. And can my Kyogre eat up whatever uh, he has to offer? Whatever his Groudon has to offer. That could be a huge turn for us. If Kyogre can eat up whatever he has to offer, we could be sitting in a solid spot. And of course, this thing has a berry. Oh my god, this thing's ripping with a berry? An guap berry? Figgy berry? What berry are you ripping? Weaky berry? Blades is gonna fly through here. We dodge that. Eat this up, Ogre. Ogre, you, can you eat that up? You cannot. That's rough. That is rough. Okay, but we bring out a big old physical attack with Sass, which isn't too bad. He can ally switch me. Uh, do I predict the ally switch? I think I might have to predict the ally switch. This is coming down to the wire here. It's coming down to the wire. But we have that. Is he going to switch it into Sunny Day? Hopefully he doesn't Sunny Day that. Is he going to Sunny Day or ally switch, man? What is he doing here? I could sub here. This is tough. This is real tough. I don't really want to sub, though. Is he going to ally switch? I'm going to say he does. I'm going to say he does ally switch. I'm going to rip into this slot. I'm going to rip into this slot. I'm going to predict the ally switcher. Come on, ally switch. Fingers crossed for ally switch. He quashes me. That's a smart play. That's just a smart play. He quashes me. That's pretty much GG. Hurricane's going to fly through here. Take him out, please. We do not take him out. And he's going to blade. Dodge his assian. Dodge his assian. He does not dodge. Can you eat? Probably not. It's scary, right? He eats. Hold up. Wait a minute. Because you're dead. Because you're dead. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Wait just a minute. All right, Zass. All right, Zass. I see you. I see you, Zass. We're making it a battle. This dang... Dude, this Sableye legit won this guy the battle, I think. But we're still here. We came to play. We came to play today. Okay. What's he going to do? We have speed on the board all day. Even without Tailwind. I don't have to worry about Tamron anymore. He's going to bring out Lunala for his final mod. Lunala's definitely scaring me. Definitely scaring me. And from here, I think we just have to go into Behemoth Blade. Might double down to Kyogre. And look for the flinch here, maybe? Do we think that's going to kill him? Who's faster? Who is faster? I think Zassi might be a bit faster than you. Right? You're just sitting at 179. Yeah, Zassi's a bit faster. I'm going to double down to Groudon slot. I'm going to double down to Groudon slot with Hurricane. If Behemoth Blade takes out Groudon, then Hurricane was a slide over, and then we have a chance of confusion. That could be good. But I don't know if this is going to take out. Let's see. We're plus one. He has no defensive boost. That takes out. That's big time KO. That's big time KO. That's big time KO. Hurricane, give him the ducks. Duck him up, dude. Duck him up. Let's go. Give me give me the ducks. Give me the ducks. Fingers crossed for ducks. No ducks. Meteor Beam's coming in hot. That is going to take out my... Uh, that's going to take out my Tornadus all day. Tornadus doesn't have his focus action. Unless he misses this. Unless he misses this. Let's see what he does. It's plus one on special attack now. Miss. Connects Meteor Beam. Man. Is that going into Zacian? Might be going to Zacian. No, it's going into my Tornadus. So Tornadus goes down, no problem. Dang, dude. If we would have had Focus Sash still. And I think I took off my Focus Sash with the Buffets. That one's going. We have speed. Uh, What do we do? What do we do? We just have the Behemoth Blade. That's all we have to do. Maybe try to get a crit. I don't think we can kill him one, in one Behemoth Blade. This thing is rather bulky. See, this thing is bulky. So we have to have him dodge a move. Or maybe just get a crit. Or maybe Zassin can just take him out, but I really don't think so. But what a solid first battle. What a solid first battle. Behemoth Blade flies through. Take him out. 1 HP. Phantom Force. He Phantom Force. Uh, can I protect that shot? This Phantom Force, Phantom Force hits through protect. It hits through protect. Dang, I was going to say, if I could protect that shot, that's GG's, but... Nah, we just need him to miss it. Phantom Force hits through protect. That's rough. That's rough. We need him to miss this. We need him to miss this Phantom Force. We need him to miss this Phantom Force. I probably should just protect it regardless. But Phantom Force is going to fly through it. That's going to be GG's. Wow, yo. What was he? 5 HP? What a battle. What a battle. What a battle. If we went a Dark Pulse, we probably would have won that battle. But still, it is GG's. 0-1 for today's video. All I can say is, wow. Wow, wow, wow. We lost that battle to about this much HP. If we probably would have Dark Pulse with our uh, Tornadus instead of Hurricaning, probably would have did a bit more damage and won us that battle. But 
It is what it is. It is what it is. Let's hop into our second battle. Look to grab ourselves our first victory for today's video. We're going up against a Palkia and Sassian team with Incineroar, Rillaboom, Gothitel, and Blastoise. The triple starters here. He's rocking with three starters. How should we play this one? We could go right in the weather. We could go like a trick. Trick him wouldn't be bad. Ah, trick him would be all right. Trick him would be all right. I'm trying to think of how we should do this. We could go Venusaur can really thrive here. Venusaur can do a lot of work. I'm kind of digging Venusaur here. Going into like Venusaur and Torkoal here. It really poses a threat on a lot of different Pokemon. So I think I'm just going to go in with these two. Roll out with them and then uh, bring Zacian in the back end alongside with Kyogre. Like late game Kyogre. Could be nice. Or we could just take full blown speed control with Kyogre turn one. Kyogre turn one out wouldn't be bad. But then he has Rillaboom, which is kind of scary. Which is kind of scary. So you know what? I'm just going to bring in these guys, these guys right here. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's roll out. Let's roll out. So we're going to go in with Drought this battle. I was going to do Trick Room. Trick Room could have been good. But I just feel like he leads it in Cinnamon. And if he leads in Cinnamon, Intimidate will not uh, work for us. Or do really anything against us. I and mean, then we kind of just die to make sure we off from there. We shall see. Or I could stay in. Or I could stay in and not Dynamax. I don't know. He's going to go Goth Tell and Palkia. Uh, I'm cool with that. I think I'm going to throw Palkia to sleep, right? I think I'm just throw Palkia to sleep and drop an eruption. Probably my play. He does have Fake Out ready to roll. Who is he going to Fake Out, right? He does have Fake Out with Goth Tell. I'm just going to throw Palkia to sleep. I don't think he fakes out my... What do we Dynamax? I could straight up Dynamax and get this Vine Lash rolling. I could ooze. Vine Lash wouldn't be bad. Just start getting some chip damage. I think we're going to do that instead of putting him to sleep. Put you on. I think we're going to yawn here. I think I'm just going to do this. Hopefully he doesn't protect that Palkia. Let's see what he does. Because I'm just going to straight up Dynamax here. Start getting some chip damage. Yawn onto him. I think he might Dynamax Palkia as well. Or he might pop a trick him. But I'm just scared of that fake out. And I... That's why I Dynamax Venusaur. Because I was originally, if like he didn't have a fake out user on the field, I was just gonna put Palkia to sleep and then erupt. Or Heat Waves, that's just would have been my play. But the fake out's kinda scaring me, you know? So let's see what he does with Palkia. Is he gonna Dynamax him? It is not. He keeps him in. He keeps him running on field. So this final is gonna chip up some nice damage. And I'm just gonna yawn on top of that. And then I might just protect my Torkoal and get a special special attack boost. He's gonna go for a flamethrower. Wow, that's vicious. That is vicious right there. That is vicious. He flamethrower. That's real vicious. He's gonna get drowsy and he's gonna pop a trick room. So trick room's out. That's I'm cool with that. I'm honestly cool with that. I'm honestly cool with that. Because the eruption should be able to take out Palkia at full HP. The eruption should be able to take out that Palkia. So I think I can just erupt and get a special defense boost. Or special attack boost. Which I like. You're basically just setting up my Torkoal at this point. I'm just gonna do that and I'm going to erupt. I'm going to do that. Hopefully, we don't take out the Goth Tell with the Eruption, but we might. Tricker might have been the detriment. Because that's a problem. That's a problem right there. Now, we have Vine Lash chipping. I could swap my Torkoal, but I really don't want to. I'm just going to go for Helping Hand. That's fine. I think Palkia dies here. Right? Palkia should be dead. Eruption's going to come out here, and Palkia should just be dead. Palkia, see you later, right? Get him on out of my game. Cool. We take him out, and Goth Tell survives. That's exactly what we wanted. The reason we wanted Goth Tell to survive is because now we get off this max ooze and we get a plus one special attack boost. That's huge for my lovely little torque on this trip. The beautiful, 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 beautiful. He still has uh, his Dynamax, but I wonder who he's going to bring out here. So we have Vine Lash chipping. We have my Torkoal in the trick room, which is amazing. And then I, I don't know who he's going to bring out here. He has Zacian. He has Incineroar. Incineroar might come out here. And if Incineroar does come out here, I'm just going to protect. I have plenty of uh, trick room turns or any fake out users because I need my Torkoal. I definitely need my Torkoal. Rillaboom's going to come out here. And who's his next mom? Rillaboom and Incineroar. Okay. I'm just going to protect my Torkoal. Protect Torkoal and go from there. I could double guard. Which is probably my turn. Double guard's probably the play. Right? Double guard's probably the play. Who's going to Dynamax though? That's the real question. I'm just going to double guard here. No reason not to. No reason not to guard up. Not to guard up. And then just pop like a heat wave next turn. Something like that. But I really do wonder what he's going to do. I really wonder. We still have Kyogre. He's going to protect my Torkoal so he doesn't get faked out. And then max guard. So I'm just doubling down here. Surprise he's in Dynamax. He might Dynamax next turn. Fake outs can come out here. Block. That's exactly what we want it. And then what's he going for? Rollaboom. Roll 
That is scary, but I think we should be fine here. That is scary right there, but I think we should be fine because eruption is going to erupt. Because <laughs> eruption's gonna erupt. Okay. I'm cool with that. How many turns left in trick him? Do we I think we at least have two, right? We should at least have two. We have two, we're sitting fine because he can protect one turn and then we can erupt the next one. But I think he's just gonna die next year. My boy Torko is gonna work. He dude, he popped a, a sword stance. Popped the sword stance. Um, I'm just gonna sludge bomb it onto him. But I think eruption should be able to do a lot of damage here. Onto the Roboom. But I think we should be thriving. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. But yo, he put himself in such a bad position. He popped the trick room, knowing Torkoal's on the field. Like if I saw a Torkoal on the field, I'm not popping Trick Room. I'm not giving it to him. Trick Torkoal is arguably one of the best Pokemon in Trick Room, other than Restricted Mons. If we're not talking Restricted Mons, I'm throwing Torkoal in the top tier category for that. So he's going to protect Roboom. That's totally fine by me. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Eruption's going to come out here. Still going to do a decent damage over onto Incineroar. And if he doesn't target down my uh, Venusaur, Venusaur's probably going to take him out. And then if he does target down my Venusaur, or if he... Yeah, if he does, then my Torkoal's sitting at full HP. So he's just going to party shot in the Torkoal. That's fine. Eruption's now back to normal, and it does a ridiculous amount of damage. And your Incineroar's dead. Bye, Incineroar. Get him, get him on out of here. Get him on out of here. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So now we sit in here. He wasted a protect. We have one more turn left in uh, Trick Room. We're thriving here. We are thriving here. I'm just going to Sludge Bomb across. Actually, would Weather Ball do more damage? Oh, no. Sludge Bomb's super effective. Sludge Bomb coming in hot. Eruption coming in even hotter. <laughs> That's pretty much GG's. He's probably going to Dynamax, but this this is looking like a sweep. This is looking like a sweep because even being even on attack board, because he minus one does, which we were... Uh, okay, can't spell. Never mind. I don't even have to explain. There's one and one. Let's hop to a third. Look for a winning record. Our last opponent made the biggest mistake ever. Like I said, he popped the Trick Room while Torkoal was on the field, which literally just gave us a win. It just gave us a win. He didn't even Dynamax. He didn't even try it. But we're hopping into our third and final battle, and we're going up against a really strong team right here. Shadow Rider, Calyrex, and Kyurem are two very good Restricted Bonds. Longsheart, Regilecki, Talonflame for Speed Control, and then he has the Urshifu and Serene over here. So I could pop a Trick Room with a Torkoal. Well, not Torkoal, with P2. P2 Trick Room's looking really solid. I'm not even going to sit here and lie. He has very fast Pokemon. So I think a P2 Trick Room could work wonders for us. It could definitely work wonders for us. With all the Pokemon that he has on the field, that's looking good for me. I could actually bring out Torkoal and just protect turn one, potentially. I'm liking that. He doesn't really have anything to kind of counteract my P2. Well, I can go Ogre and maybe protect Ogre. Ogre's not shabby. Not shabby. His speed's 112. He's slower than a lot of those Pokemon out on the field, so you know what? I'm going to lead the Ogre. I'm going to bring Torkoal in the back end for Trick Room, and then Zacian late game. Zacian late game. Let's do it. 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 But yeah, yo, Torkoal MVP last match. All day. One and one. Let's grab ourselves a winning record here. Torkoal, dude, I was sitting there. I was like, he's going to Trick Room? I was like, uh, thank you very much. <laughs> like, thank you very much. Let me just erupt, 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 erupt. See how much damage it was doing to even, like, Incineroar to the Palkias? Like, it's just so broken when you get it in Trick Room. He's going to go Talonflame and hit him. And at this point, yeah, I'm just going to... I know that thing hits through Protects, which is a little, a little scary. But I'm still going to Protect. Do I even Protect? I don't even think I Protect. I think I still go for an Origin Pulse here. And the reason I say that is because we straight up... Uh, we have to pose a threat. Because if we Protect and he doubles down in the P2, that's not good for us. So I'm just going to Trick him here. I'm just going to straight up Origin Pulse. Got to be my play. Oh, what type of Skyrim? I thought he was fire, right? Is he fire and dragon? Come here, let me, let me see something about you. Dragon ice. Dragon ice. Okay. I mean, not, that's not too bad. I'm still gonna pop a lovely little trick from here. I'm just gonna jump an origin pulse. Even though I really want a water spout, I am going to an orange pulse here. Let's see what he does. He's gonna end up protecting Kyrim. Totally fine with that. Unless he's rocking taunt with a uh, bird. He is rocking taunt with bird. How dare you rock taunt with bird? He's rocking taunt with bird! He's rocking Taunt and Bird. That's a, that's a nice little taunt. That's a nice little taunt. Taunt's gonna come out here. We do get off a free Origin Pulse, which is huge. We're gonna be able to pop this. Bang. And take him out, no problem. So cool. He wasn't Sash. Get him on out of here. So he doesn't have Tailwind up. It's not like he's like super speedy right now. And I cannot trick him and I cannot ear your impulse, which is no bueno. Uh, but what I can do is Ice Beam. I can Ice Beam. <laughs> I can Ice Beam. So solid first turn for him. Uh, Retro like he's looking a little scary for me. Not gonna sit here and lie. I think I'm just gonna ice beam and maybe just protect the ogre this turn. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. 
I know Kieran doesn't hit through protect. What does he do? He hits through disguises. That's what he does. He hits through ability. So he kind of has like a mole breaker. I don't know why I said protects. It's abilities. Because I remember having a Mimikyu and I was just like, oh, I can pop trick him freely. He's, there's no way he can hit me. I can just fake out the right side. He's like, nah, son. Let me hit through that ability and roll from there. That's exactly what he did. But he's going to end up Dynamaxing if I had to guess Kiram here. And keeping the Regilecki for E-Webs and stuff. Yeah. So he's going to Dynamax to Kiram. Uh, I don't think he can't take out any of my Pokemon. I don't think he can, right? Let's see what he does. He might change up weather with a little, nice little ice move. Let's see what he wants to do. Gonna protect the ogre. I think an e-web might come through, or maybe a straight thunderbolt. Let's see. And did he read me hard? He read me hard. He read me hard. What a play by him. I still think P2 should be able to eat up whatever he has to offer. But actually, maybe not. This might take my out my P2. P2, eat this up, please. P2, let's go. Okay, so P2 is gonna be able to get off one turn. What a read by him. I'll give it to him all day. That's a big time read. It's a big time read from him. It's a big, big, big time read. And I'm just gonna ice beam straight. Up. Give me a freeze. Give me a little bit of chip damage here. Give me a freeze. Show it to me. Freeze him. No freeze. Okay. Oh, dude, this is tough. This is super, super tough. This is really tough. Uh. What do I do? I think I might have to go in Zassi and save my Dynamax for like Torkoal. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. Wait, did I mean to bring Torkoal? Yeah, I did mean to bring Torkoal because I was trying to pop Trick Room. Uh. The reason I want to bring him is. <laughs> this is tough. I gotta go Zass in here and pose a threat with Behemoth Blade. I have to pose a threat with Behemoth Blade. If he if he e webs me, he's gonna knock down our speed a little bit. But I have to go for this Behemoth Blade here. Behemoth Blade can dump on that and then just go into an Origin Pulse. Because the Origin Pulse will take out Reg Lucky, no problem. It's either he Thunderbolts here or e webs. He's gonna e web. So he's gonna go with the e web call. The e going to poke out here. We're going to be able to soon. Can Zassian still outspeed that Kyurem? That would be beautiful. It might. Or might not. I'm hoping it does. If it does, that's huge for us. It does not. He's going to end up going for a Quake, and that's going to take me out. That's going to take me out. Ah, that's ugly. That's ugly. That's ugly. That's real ugly. So we need to be able to take... Oh, we might not be able to take out Reggie here. He gets a crit, too. I was going to say, we might have been able to eat that up. This wasn't Stab. He just Quaked me, dude. He crit it. Okay, so we got to bring out Torx here. We have to bring out Torx. And Torx can play the game, dude. Even without Trick Room. Origin Pulse, please take out Regilecki. Please. Cool. Okay, so Regilecki's gone. Reggie's gone. We can bring out Torx here. And I can guard this next shot. I can 100% double protect here. Which I'm kind of leaning towards. I'm kind of leaning towards. Because we have to Dynamax this Torx here. He's going to bring out Kalarx. And that's, that thing's looking scary right there. That thing is 100% looking scary. I'm thinking of guarding. I am definitely thinking of guarding. Torkoal, let's get it, baby. Let's get it. So there's this Focus Ash right there. Buffets will take out the Focus Ash, so I don't want to change up weather this time. Actually, I have to change up weather. I have Drought as an ability. I was going to say, because I was going to drop a Flare. Dang it, yo. Buffets would be nice. But yeah, I got a Dynamax. I have to guard here. And I have to protect. I have to protect. So this is what I think he's doing. I think he's going to Quake into my Torkoal. And then... We're going to max guard it, and then he's just going to go for Astro Barrage. So Astro Barrage is definitely... It's looking scary. It's looking scary. It's looking real scary. Because the problem here is, like, that Focus Ash that he has. That we know he has. We didn't have it on Talon Flame. It's got to be on the Calyrex. So we have to take out Kiram, and then we have to take out... Shadow Rider Calyrex with two hits. Two hits is tough. That's tough. So he asked for and he quake. So exactly what we thought he was going to do, he does. So we waste out his Dynamax here. He could end up protecting that Pokemon right there. You think he ends up protecting Kiram? He might. With that said, I'm going to go into that. And I'm just going to Ice Beam here. Double down on the Calyrex. Because he might protect the Kiram here. Now we go straight for an Astro Barrage. That Kyro can eat. Oh, Kyro can eat. That's pretty. That's pretty. He's going to freeze dry. So he's going to do that. Yeah, so he's going to end up freeze drying. That's tough, dude. I wish he would have went into my uh, Torkoal there. If he would have went into Torkoal there, that could have been a huge turn for us. Here, I'm just going to uh, take some life orb damage. We're going to flare right into this thing. And now I don't know what we should do. That's going to sash him, right? Yeah, it sashes him up. The sash really doing us dirty today. 
Sash doing a sturdy. I am going to take out you. And we're going to go from there. Oh my god, yo. We're going to lose by an inch. By an inch. Astro actually, Astro Bosch did a ridiculous amount of damage. And he's just going to earth power me. That's what I thought he was going to do. And that's what I wanted him to do. But at that point, it would have been a 2v1. It would have been a 2v1. But I'm surprised he doubled down into my Kyogre like that. Smart little play by him. But there it is, guys. One and two for today's video. Not a bad set of battles. First battle came down on wire. This one also came down to wire. Not a bad set of battles for today's video. Wish we would have grabbed ourselves two wins and only one loss, but hey, we'll take one win all day. Torkoal, Venusaur, Porygon all worked well together with the Trick Room, the Drow combo. We also had the Twin Odyssey and Kyogre for the Rain combo. And then you just had Zacian, who was just a great Pokemon in every single squad. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.